In this video, we will learn traversal in a singly linked list. So what we will do is, we will traverse through every node of the linked list and we will print out the value of that particular node. So suppose if we have this linked list where this is the head node and this is the tail node, the output of traversal operation will basically look like this. 2, 7, 8 and 1. So you are traversing through every node and you are just printing out the values, the data part of it, not the address part. Okay. Now just think about it. How can you do this? Because this is not an array where uh, items are located in a contiguous memory location. This is a linked list where the address of the next node is stored in the previous node's address point. Okay. So we'll have to come up with a solution where we can traverse these nodes uh, by some piece of code. Okay. So how can we do that? So what we will do is we'll implement a very simple algorithm. We'll start by taking a temporary variable by the name of temp. And this will be equal to initially when we'll start the code, this will be equal to the head pointer, the head node. Okay. Then we'll write a loop. And that loop will run while the value of temp is not null. Because if you think about it, you have to run this code until you reach this point, the tail node. Okay. So how do we identify the tail node? A tail node is a node whose address pointer is pointing towards null. So if I somehow reach this point where currently I am at null, it basically means I am somewhere over here at the tail. Okay. Now this is the condition for the loop while 10 is not null. What we will do inside this loop is we'll do two things. The first thing would be to print whatever is inside 10 dot data. Because listen, temp is basically a node consisting of two things, the data part and the address part. So we are printing out temp.data. And the second thing that we are doing is we are incrementing the value of temp. Not by one, not by two. We are actually incrementing it this way. We are writing temp is equal to temp dot next. Just think about it. Initially, let's say. We have this linked list. Let's apply this code on top of this linked list. Okay. So initially, when the code will start, the value of 10 will be equal to this entire thing, this entire thing, right? And obviously, this thing is not null. So this condition will be true, right? This entire condition will be true. That means you'll get inside this loop, right? And what will you print? You will print temp dot data. This is temp. Temp dot data is Two, so you'll be having two on your screen. Next, you're writing temp. The current temp will become temp dot next. See, temp dot next is currently pointing to this node. This is temp, right? Let's call this node to be n one or n two. Let's call this n two. Okay. So now what I'm doing is by writing this statement, I'm saying, okay, look. The new temp will basically be this node, right? Now you'll again come here. Now temp is n2. Again, temp is not null. So you print out temp dot data. So you print out 7. Then you write temp dot temp is equal to temp dot next. So n3 will become. So this will become n3. And we print out uh, 8. Again, there will be an increment. So now it will become n4 right again you print out 10 dot data which is 1 and now this is important now this statement is temp is equal to 10 dot next but the address pointer of this node n4 is now pointing towards null so now temp will become null right and now this condition will be false and you will not get inside this loop and this will be printed on your screen and that is how traversal is done.
in a simply linked list. Okay, so I hope you're getting the entire theory part. Let's run this in a code. So now let's run a code which will implement the theory that we just discussed. So this is the linked list class. We currently have one method insert that we created in the previous video. Now let's create one more method by the name of traverse and this will just hold, uh, it will just get this self object, the object of the class and uh, now what you will do is, uh, step one would be to create a variable by the name of temp which would be equal to self dot head, right? Now you will run a loop and the condition for the loop would be while temp is not none. So we have discussed this, right? And inside the loop, you're going to do only two things. The first thing would be to print out temp.data. And the second thing would be to increment temp by writing this statement, temp.next, right? And that's your code. Uh, one thing, one minor change that I would like to do is I'll add an end to be equal to a space. You'll understand why I have done this so that uh, after printing out every node, there is not a line change. Okay. So we have executed the code. Now let's create a new object of linked list class. And now let's use the insert method to insert some nodes. So we are actually inserting certain nodes. So yeah, so we have inserted four nodes. Now if I write and if I call the traverse method, you can actually understand what will happen. So this was the first node. This is the second and this is the third and this is the final fourth one. And now you will actually understand see, since we are uh, using the insertion from head, uh, what will happen is uh, 44 will be the first node in our linked list. Just think about it. Every new item is being inserted through the head. So automatically every new item will become uh, the first item. So the linked list should be 44, then 33, then 22 and finally 11. And that is what we are getting. Okay. At this point, if I try to insert one more item, let's say LL55. And if I call the traverse function, this is the output. So I hope uh, traversal is clear. Uh, in the next video, we'll learn how to insert a new item uh, after a specific node. Thanks for watching.